Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, B. Avery, and we are at the end of 2017. And you know I couldn't let you go the end of this year without giving my list. I'm going to have three lists. I'm going to have my top 10 best of 2017. I'm going to have my top 10 favorite of 2017. And I'm also going to have my top 10 worst of 2017. And if you saw the title of this video, if you saw the thumbnail, of course, you know, this is the top 10 worst movies that I thought in 2017. Now there are, uh, I'm, what I'm not going to do and actually in any of these videos is go into like an in-depth reason as, you know, give like a review of the movie. Um, all these movies that I'm talking about are going to be either on my website and or on my channel. So if you want an in-depth explanation there of how I feel about the movie, you can go there to watch or read it again. But I will maybe touch on a few points. I may just read down the list, uh, read down the list. It just depends. Um, now, there are some movies that possibly would make it on this list um, that I just had a feeling that were going to be crap, but I just didn't see them. Like I didn't see Chips. Um, I didn't see Flatliners. And I also did not see uh, the Snowman movie with Michael Fassbender and maybe like another movie or two that everybody else is crapping on that didn't look, you know, good to me. But at the same time, just because somebody else is saying something is bad doesn't mean that I'm going to feel as bad either. So I could actually love Flatline as a Snowman um, in that other movie that I mentioned, Chips, um, because I, that movie uh, that came out, I think, of three or four years ago, um, it was Victor. F no, not Victor Frankenstein. Um was it yeah victor frankenstein because there was two there was an i frankenstein movie that was okay and then victor's frankenstein all the critics crap crapped on that movie but i loved it but anyway uh without any further ado uh well no let me before i say that um i do have two honorable mentions that i want to uh mention real quick honorable mentions for a worst list um and that is mother and suburbicon suburbicon really pissed me off um if you go check out my review i gave it the finger I don't want to do it now because my mom is watching. Hey, mom. <laughs> but uh, that movie really was misleading. It was I mean, I understand trailers are supposed to sell tickets, but my gosh, uh, it's supposed to also give you something that the movie is about, not just lie to you. And there was also like a lot of racist. Unne I felt unnecessary racism in that movie that didn't tie into the story. Of course, the movie took place in the 1950s. Was racism bad in America back then? Of course it was. So it's not that my pro I, I didn't have a problem with the racism in the movie. I just feel it did a horrible job of incorporating that with the rest of the story. So, I mean, just imagine if you're watching, I don't know, um, the latest drama like Wind River and then Barney comes in there and just starts dancing on screen real quick and just leaves. It's like it's so it doesn't have anything to do with anything. Now, I was talking to a lot of people in the comment section about that movie, and they was like, well, Brandon, what they were trying to uh, portray is that um, everybody is so focused, like, okay, America's mind is twisted. It is. It was then. It is today. That everybody was just so focused on the innocent, loving black family, but then you have this sadistic, satanic family over here where the, where, that uh, Matt Damon was a part of that's uh, killing everybody. I realized that after the movie, after I did the review, and those people do make a valid point. So I'll, I'll give you that there. But me as a viewer in the movie at that time, it just, I was not able to uh, tie the two together. And then you may want to say, well, you're just being emotional because you're black. And they was talking about black people. Well, um, it, it, no, but even if so, so what? Black people are tired of seeing us get our asses kicked on screen. And I, I'm not going to go into all the reasons why I could. But, you know, let's uh, let's keep this video fun. But that's one honorable mention. And Mother is another one. And uh, if you had to describe Mother in two words, it would be Fever Dream. Uh, this was one of the most weirdest, most uncomfortable movies I've ever sat through from beginning to end. And the first, I, I, let's, I said this is two hours. The first hour and a half, it was, uh, you know, just like you're just uncomfortable, just really not knowing what's going to happen. And everything is just so weird. And then the last 30 minutes, I have never seen anything escalate over and over and over and over and over again. But uh, they just kept doing that. And I remember walking out of the theater like, what the hell did I just watch?
And then I woke up the next morning like, oh, some of my stuff makes sense to me. Then I went to get sleep again that day and I woke up like, yeah, this movie was just crazy. You know, this this is horrible. But, you know, those are my two honorable mentions for my worst list. So let's go ahead and get into the top 10. The coming in, and this is in no particular order. I would like my number 10 movie I will, or the number one movie, the worst. I do have a worst out of all of them, but the first ones are in no particular order. The first one is Jigsaw. Uh, this is like the the 59th film in the franchise, and they don't need to make any more. This disrespects the Saw franchise entirely. Saw 1 and 2 was very thought out. It was thorough. They paid attention to every plot hole. But there were so many instances in this movie, Jigsaw, to where it's like, okay, if the characters do this, they can get away. If they do that, they can get away. They just didn't cover all the bases. There was too many what-if questions. And everything in this movie that the characters did was like a coincidence and just happened perfectly for them to get through the you know sloppy plot that they wrote so i didn't like that movie at all uh next on the list uh, i guess you can say number nine is friend request um man this one is like the worst nightmare for anybody that uses social media um it was somewhat of a good idea and the movie started out great but the second half of the movie it just kind of fell apart and just kind of you know got ridiculous to me to an ending to where you're just like I mean, this just made no sense. It was stupid. It was cheap. And, you know, like even if you saw the movie for free, you will want to get your money back. Um, coming in at number eight is Annabelle Creation. And while they did create Annabelle in this movie, they did not create a great movie. Um, this was dumb. Um, it just again, it just made no sense. It wasn't entertaining. It wasn't scary. Um, you know, the only thing I liked about this movie was the trailer. And um, honestly, I, I kind of feel ripped off. I mean, one thing that it did do is tie in with the other Annabelle movie very well that they, they I'll, I'll give credit where credit is due. The film did do that well, but that was one of the only things that the movie was able to do that was good. And um, I, I really didn't like anything else after that. Um, the next on the list, number seven, is the Emoji Movie. It came out earlier this year, I believe the summertime. And um, this kind of makes you not ever want to use emojis again. Because when you do, you think about this movie. And what's crazy is they had the poop joke reference to poop emoji. And I like poop jokes. Um, that, that's just my, you know, I like poop jokes. I like toilet humor. But I just didn't like this in this movie. And um, I hate to like a uh, parrot what everybody else says but i do agree is that the people that was behind this movie they were trying to attach to a younger audience and they just didn't get it they just missed the mark they struck out um it just wasn't funny it wasn't clever it was a lazy lazy ass movie um and you know it was just highly disappointing you know coming in at one of the worst of this year oh man i kind of i'm gonna skip over that one because it was just so bad the next one was wish upon um, this one is the one where the girl found a box and she made some wishes and I have never seen a character so selfish in a movie before and to where death around you is so blatantly obvious. I mean, she, they could have just went like, I mean, you know, it's just common sense to where, you know, to where if you go stick a fork in a socket that you're going to get electrocuted and you're going to get hurt. I mean, you know that if you walk off a cliff and you can't fly that you're going to die. I mean, these are just common sense things. And there were some story points in this movie to where the girl knew what was going to happen if she still made wishes. But she still made wishes. And I'm just like, okay, this is just ridiculous. Uh, coming in at number five is uh, Transformers The Last Night. Um, you know, I love the first Transformers movie. It was fantastic. I gave that a nine out of ten. It has some continuity issues in the battle towards the uh, end of the movie, but it was still fantastic. But these Transformers movies get worse and worse and worse and worse. And this one is by far the worst one ever. Like it, it didn't. The uh, what was it? Age of Extinction didn't make any sense. And this one didn't even pick off where that one left off. Optimus Prime is flying around. We have like now we have like seven different origin stories for the Transformers. There is no continuity in any of the battles. I mean, at one point, the Transformers are just like running in place, playing duck, duck, goose, shooting and explosions everywhere. And I don't know what's going on. I mean, at one point, the movie was so bad. It was like the Autobots were helping the bad guys. I mean, like it was just this scene to where something was under underwater, like 
like hundreds and thousands of feet underwater and the Autobots went down there. But the Decepticons needed that or the bad guys needed that thing to raise up to activate whatever so they could, you know, rule the world or whatever. But I'm just like, Autobots, leave it the F down there. Like, why would you go turn it on? Like, I mean, I, I don't know. If you're in a room and the lights are off and somebody's in that room trying to shoot you, would you turn the lights on so they can see you? No, you would leave the lights off because they have a harder chance of catching you. I mean, it's like, hey, you, you, I mean, seriously, you see me now. It's kind of hard to see me. Would you go like this? Hey, you see me now, shoot me. I mean, no, that is the equivalent of what the Transformers did in this movie. And I'm just like, this is just effing stupid. But, you know, anyway, I don't, um, next movie is uh, <laughs> number <laughs> number four is uh, Alien Covenant. This movie pissed me off so bad. I talked about characters that I don't like in that movie, Friend Request. Um, she was just so selfish. This Alien Covenant movie, the characters were just so stupid. God damn it. I do not understand. You are in space going across the freaking galaxy, okay? I'm going to have me every gun, weapon, katana sword, bazooka, laser, whatever at my disposal. The whole time we are on this planet that we ain't ever heard of before, we're going to be back to back to back to back with our eyes glued open looking every which way and we ain't dying if we all die we dying together but just people don't want to use their brain they don't want to use their logic i remember in this movie they had they they planned out this uh this they they made plans to go to this new civilization or whatever and it took them like two or four years to plan everything out every detail well of course in space travel crap hits the fan right so they just come like oh we can't make it there but hey you know there's just this little blip over here Let, let's just go land on that planet and maybe we'll find what we're looking for no you have no idea what's there it may take you a little bit longer to get where you're going but that's okay you have the resources you have the supplies but supplies but no they just wanted to throw away a four-year plan and just go over here to um bobby boucher's world and make it, it just didn't make any sense it was it was just dumb i hated the ending of this movie the movie pissed me off i was mad because i really did enjoy prometheus i really did enjoy prometheus but this movie crapped all over prometheus and this is also a prequel to all of the alien movies so it kind of just ruins all that like it just it ruins the whole freaking franchise thank you ridley scott thank you very much coming in at number three um is the rings that came out earlier this year that was based off the ring movie that came out in like 2002 2003 uh only thing i remember about this movie is that it sucked it was crap and i didn't like it um and then coming in uh, oh i got two more left I, and i skipped over one i don't know if i want to no i'm 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 a, yeah that one was pretty bad i'm gonna keep that as the worst so coming in at number two this is the second worst of all out of all the 2017 it's 50 shades darker i mean like the writers of this movie just really treat the audience like they're just effing fools like, I mean, like, just please, it's just disrespectful writing. I mean, I don't even know the guy's name. Like, Fifty Shades, uh, Fifty Shades, what is, I don't even know. This is Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades of Grey, is that the first one? I don't care. But this Fifty Shades Darker, first of all, this is based on books, and it's supposed to be like a bunch of kinky sex and stuff like that. There ain't nothing kinky in this movie. They do stuff in this movie that everybody in the world has done in the bedroom before, at least once or twice. I'm trying to see some stuff I ain't ever seen before, like people hanging from ceilings and, you know, all types of contraptions. And they, and, and that's normal to some people. You know what I'm saying? I've never hung from a ceiling before, but hey, maybe someday. But um, that was um, that was very disappointing. And also, um, that, what's his name? Sebastian? So... It just makes me mad thinking about this. Okay, the dude is rich. He's like a millionaire, billionaire, right? So he has this private plane. Like only two, three, four people can fit in it, right? He flying across the sky, you know, doing dips and dives and swirling. And it was a helicopter, not a plane. It was a helicopter. Excuse me, it was a helicopter. He doing all, excuse me, he doing all this flying around. Something goes wrong with the helicopter. The helicopter crashes. From mid sky into like they don't have no parachute, you know it don't crash in no water. It, this thing crashes into some trees, 
Okay, if anything, they should be dead. I don't care about no spoilers. If anything, he should be dead or severely hurt and unconscious. There should be no freaking way he can walk away from this movie. So he crashes. The, the scene cuts away. The girl that he was dating finds out that he was in an accident. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? In real life, something that's realistic, you will probably go see him in the hospital. He is all in a body cast, unconscious, in a coma, like, you know, barely hanging on. But no, what do we see him in the next time? First, we see him crash. The scene cuts away. The next time we see him, he's busted through the door like he's freaking He-Man, Captain America, to save the day. Like, hey, baby, I'm here and I'm all right. And blood is still dripping down his face. Are you serious? This movie deserves like 50, 10 Fs, 50, 10 Fs, like 10 Fs for that. Like, why are you still alive? Why are you not in the hospital? Why did you not go to the hospital? Why would you just bust into the room or whatever with blood still hanging on your face? It just makes no freaking sense. But there is even a movie worse than that. And this is the worst of 2017. And it is the Bye Bye Man. The Bye Bye Man. The Bye Bye Man. Man, bye bye to this movie. The first five minutes started out okay, but this is based on some type of curse. And I don't know, I used to love, I mean, it's not that I don't like Family Guy anymore. I just, I don't know, when I got a little older, I just kind of lost interest, I guess. It's just not as funny. I mean, I still like the show. I'm still a fan, but there was an episode that came out in like 2004 or 2005 to where like Family Guy makes fun of all pop culture and it makes fun of itself as well. But one of the things they made fun of in this episode of Family Guy was that movies <laughs> where you have the title and they say the title of the movie in the movie or whatever. So, you know, let's just say um, Transformers, because I talked about that or whatever. And Optimus Prime, when I'm like, you know, we're going to transform, you know, some people geek out about this. Like, oh, they said the name of the movie in the movie. That's what they did in Bye Bye Man. Every freaking time somebody just said the bye bye man, it's like the whole movie stopped and it was just like a laughing gag, but it was no laughter. It was just stupidity or whatever. I mean, every, the bye bye man, the bye bye man, the bye bye man, bye bye man. And it's just like, I mean, really, on top of that, the characters were dumb. The plot was stupid. The whole thing was incoherent and didn't make any sense. Remember that scene from Billy Madison in 1994? Uh, what did he say, uh, Mr. Madison, what you've just said, I kind of feel like, hey, you know, after I watched this movie, you know, what, 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 how did it go? <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things that I've ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response, we even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone is not dumber for how watching this movie, The Bye Bye Man. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. That's how I felt about this movie. It was horrible. It was the wackest of 2017 and I pretty much hated it. But guys, that is, um, the, damn, I was going to make a joke at the very beginning of this movie. I see it right here, and I forgot to make it, but that's okay. Crap. Me, ah, damn it. Oh, well, it's, it's all good. But, guys, that is uh, my top 10 worst movies of 2017. Have you seen any of these movies? Did you like these movies, uh, or did you do you feel the same way I felt, and did you hate these movies? But, um, you know, hate is such a strong word, but just sometimes I'm looking at this list right now as I'm talking, and I'm just like, man, what the hell were y'all thinking when y'all was making this movie? So we got Jigsaw, Friend Request, Annabelle Creation, The Emoji Movie, Fifty Shades Darker, Wish Upon, Transformers The Last Night, Alien Covenant, Rings, and The Bye Bye Man. The joke that I was going to make is I was going to do my uh, honorable mentions, and I was going to be like, all right, number one of the worst movie of 2017 is Star Wars The Last Jedi. And I was on top for maybe five seconds. Be like, I'm just joking, but I've forgotten. It's right here on you know the list, and I, I missed it. But <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm a dork and I don't care. Uh, it was funny to me. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion of the top or my opinion of the top 10 worst movies of 2017. Like I said, how do you feel about these movies? I uh, really do appreciate you tuning in. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that's fine. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it easy by providing a link to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion of my top 10 worst 
movies of 2017. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.